He was once a man, but what is he now? It took going all the way to San Diego Comic-Con 2024 to find out. What is he now? We'll find out on the other side. Welcome to GI Reviews. I am Ruckus. It's been a minute, guys. I hope you've been well. Uh, it's been a good minute because uh, I spent a good deal of time, as some of you probably already know, at uh, San Diego Comic Con last week, as of the recording of this video, of course. And uh, I wanted to bring you this review a lot sooner, but as luck would have it, uh, I got sick. In fact, I got sick during Comic-Con, and it, uh, it uh, spared me for the duration of the event, but as soon as it was done, and I got back home Monday, uh, blew up. So you're talking about, uh, you know, the, uh, the things that are not conducive for a good video review uh, with an audio recording, and uh, that meant sneezing, coughing, etc., so... Uh, I had to hold off until I got a little bit better, and I am better, and uh, I'm here doing this now. Kind of late that I'm doing it. Uh, I would have waited one more day, but I'm, I've got a very busy day tomorrow in the morning, and then when I get back, I'm really, uh, I really have to uh, get to it. I've got uh, material for all three of my channels, but I wanted to bring this here first, and um, yeah, you see what we got in front of us right here. It is the San Diego Comic-Con 2024 G.I. Joe Classified Series exclusive. Cobra Commander, Once a Man. And you see the packaging, some nice artwork there. It gets better than that. I do not know if this will convey well on camera in video, but this is a lenticular cover. So if I adjust, it should change. It doesn't seem to be changing. I don't think, oh, there we go. It looks like it's changing now, so you see some differences. It has three different covers. So you see he's in full, like, snake mode. And if I try to get it to look a little... Yeah, there we go. You can see uh, Cobra Commander as his his uh, his historical look right there. And then, of course, we've got the, uh, the in-between, the transitorial phase right there. And um, side work. We got some nice uh, straight up Cobra right there. He is 130 in the line. So he had an exclusive, but he still goes uh, by the numbering system. And on the back, we have more of that artwork. In fact, uh, full artwork you've got uh, when he when he became an almost complete snake and he was wrapped around Roadblock. This is all from the movie G.I. Joe, the movie. Uh, so you see you've got Nemesis Immortal, you've got go uh, excuse me, Globulus up there. This is a pretty good uh, set there. And uh, this isn't even how you got it. It uh, comes in a mailer. So you do have that going on for you. And then even after you get it out of the mailer, it has a plastic sleeve on it. And now we've got that out of the way. This is also kind of a book style cover. It's got Velcro to keep it in place. When you open it up, you've got some nice artwork there on our left side of Cobra Commander being uh, restrained, if you will. You see what he's being restrained by. Some very nice artwork there. And then, of course, we have got the figure in packaging itself. You've got the uh, Once a Man Cobra Commander right there. The snake when he's almost fully transformed, and you have a couple. You have a a, a, a changeable uh, head sculpt and faceplate as well, and you have some weapons and some hands. So yeah, pretty nice. I'll close that back up. Just so you can see that the Velcro does hold it. So, pretty cool. Very nice packaging, as is usually the case when it comes to San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. And now on our rotating base, we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series 
San Diego Comic Con exclusive number 130. Cobra Commander, once a man. You can see in 360 degrees what we got going on there. It's a uh, variation of his uniform because he began uh, buffing up when he be, uh, started transforming into a snake. So his sleeves all ripped up and he, you know, he popped out of it, popped the buttons and everything else. So, uh, yeah, he, he got a little bit buff and, um, yeah, it's looking pretty good right there. Let's uh, take a look at him closer up to see uh, exactly how good. So now that we've got Cobra Commander, once a man, up close and personal, let's uh, take a look at that uh, face, shall we? Now, I'm sure, I'm certain that uh, many of you have noticed, and uh, if you're not aware of uh, Cobra Commander's origins, uh, it'll... Uh, you know, you'll be asking what's up with these extra eyes because that's what they are. He's got them on um, both sides of his face. And um, what happened with Cobra Commander is uh, doing an experiment. Uh, he got uh, basically um, blasted in the face with whatever concoction was going on. And it began to transform him. He ended up getting a whole bunch of eyes. Uh, not looking snake-like, but he did start getting a bunch of uh, eyes on his face. And that's why he began wearing that full face shield. And uh, it's looking pretty good here. We've got uh, his eyes, the, uh, the, the, uh, the two that we all have come with, standard issue. Uh, they're blue. And they're, they've got that reptilian pupil in there. You can see that. You can see the uh, the mouth. Look how the mouth has uh, has uh, the entire the maw itself has gotten wider, and you can see the teeth uh, peeking through right there, and uh, a whole scaly visage, as you can see. And uh, like I said, you can see that he's broken. He's popped his uh, his jacket. You can see from the collar there. Got some nice work there. You see all the scales going on as uh, he's in his uh, transitory uh, phase. Yes, so uh, two different uh, color types there, like a yellowish kind of brown and then a uh, beige kind of brown is in there. So he's going two, uh, uh, two tones there. His uh, belt is black. And forgive hearing the dog in the background. It is summertime people doing their thing. We got the silver buckle and the uh, insignia there in the center there, painted red. We've got uh, the uh, the lower torso is molded in blue. We've got the red stripes. My red striping is nice and clean. I'm happy because, you know... It is an exclusive. You don't really want to have too many issues with an exclusive. He's got a uh, sheath for his knife on his left thigh. And uh, that's really basically all he has. Let's uh, take a look at those accessories since I did mention uh, the uh, holster or the sheath for the thigh. Here is that aforementioned knife. Molded in a black, and a, uh, the uh, blade portion is painted silver, and it fits snugly in the sheath. So you do have that. He next comes with this little ditty here, which is a, uh, a holster uh, that uh, gets fitted on his back. You see he's got a peg hole on the back there, so peg that in, and then you have a holster for... A uh, long range weapon which he has right here molded in black and you see there's some red paint there and uh, it fits basically in place and uh, believe it or not it fits in there snugly so that's pretty cool he also comes with additional sets of hands let me put him down for a second he comes with an extra set of fists as you can see right there and he comes with a uh, I want you pointer and a uh, world domination hand grasper or you know whatever he also comes with 
a cracked mask, which uh, I guess you would use if you were opposing him. Like since he uh, is transforming, he's, you know, peeled his mask off. Speaking of masks, he also comes with an additional head sculpt of uh, the uh, the Cobra Commander we all know and love. And the Feast Day Resistance of this set, besides the Once a Man figure itself, we get this little ditty right here, which is his uh, nearly complete transitory form. You see that uh, he's almost all the way to Snake. He still has uh, uh, arms. And uh, they're not, uh, yeah, actually they are. They are um, articulated. So that's pretty cool. My, this one is tight, but it, it's, it's articulated. So believe that the mouth doesn't open and close. And it isn't bendy, but you can. It's, it, it's pliable enough that you could use it to wrap around someone like, say, oh, I don't know, Roadblock. Speaking of which... So you see, like I said, it's uh, not bendy wire, but it's pliable enough that you can uh, get your uh, your almost fully transformed Cobra Commander around the likes of Roadblock. Here he is with his helmeted uh, head sculpt on, as uh, he has not uh, fully transformed facially speaking. Uh, so you can, you know, basically pose him in a number of stages of his uh, transition. CC's articulation scheme is his head is on a dumbbell, so you can lift it up, look up that far, look down that far. His neck is also on a ball hinge as well, so you get all that lovely goodness there. He can definitely T-pose it. My right shoulder is a little bit problematic, but you see it still goes. We do have the uh, rotation, and he does have butterfly joints, but they're not very pronounced. So, you know, he's not drawn back that far, and he's not really clasping that well either. He's got the bicep swivel, double-jointed pinless elbows. These hands that he came with out of packaging swivel at the wrists, and they both have the horizontal, excuse me, the... Uh, vertical hinge and uh, as far as his torso is concerned he can add crunch that far forward he can go that far back he does have waist articulation it's like on a ball hinge so there is some side to side movement there but you definitely can go left and right he can do the Van Dams he doesn't have drop down hips though that's unusual for classified he does have the uh, thigh swivel, double jointed pinless uh, knees, kind of tight there at the bottom but you can see we still have it going on and uh, he does have a uh, cut at the ankle. He can point his toe forward that far, he could point it up like that, he's got the uh, ankle pivot, he's got holes at the bottom of his feet and uh, yeah that is the articulation scheme on our once a man Cobra Commander. Since I have both of my retro carded Cobra Commanders still in packaging and they're not coming out, this is the best you can do. So uh, yeah, it's not the cartoon uniform style that uh, would be a better comparison, but it's still Cobra Commander and uh, this is what you get. This is what you get. And that is our look at the 2024 San Diego Comic Con exclusive G.I. Joe Classified Series number 130, Cobra Commander, Once a Man Action Figure Deluxe Set. Beautiful packaging, lenticular box cover. The art is beautiful, decent accessories, not crazy with it, but then the theme is what you see right here on the rotating base. Looking pretty cool right there. Uh, it's a, it's a niche type of uh, figure. It, it isn't necessary unless you're just a straight up diehard or a neurotic completionist like myself. So uh, yeah, you know that's what was going to happen with me. And uh, I'm happy with it. It's pretty good. The, uh, the drama to get it is another story. But uh, yeah, we got it. And uh, if you still want one, if you want one and wasn't able to attend Comic-Con, I believe, 
I believe very soon, either uh, sometime in the middle of this month or maybe the first week of September, I forget, they have limited quantities of all of their exclusives that will be available to you on Hasbro Pulse, so uh, you can get your uh, Cobra Commander Once a Man that way. I do have to warn you, though, that uh, you've got to be quick on the draw because uh, we're talking about the time it takes to refresh a page, they could be sold out. Trust me, I know from past experience. So uh, keep that in mind and uh, let me know what you guys think of this figure. Uh, you know, the figure itself, the packaging, anything. Uh, are you going to get one? Not interested. Once again, it's not really necessary. Um, but uh, it's a it's a nice figure to have, you know what I'm saying? Of, you know, to have it on a display. Anybody that knows about G.I. Joe, they know about this. And they would be uh, impressed with what you got. So uh, let me know what you got in terms of uh, what you want to tell me down below. And until uh, we get back, I've got uh, a few things in the fire. Because while I was away, uh, the mailman didn't stop. The mail person, excuse me, didn't stop delivering. So I've got plenty of product to bring you guys and uh, I'm going to do that. The ruckus is back, but for now, I'm out. Peace.